Meteorites are asteroid or comet material that have fallen to Earth. There are over 40,000 meteorites that we know about. Some have no uranium. They can be used to measure the solar system's initial lead ratios. The Canyon Diablo meteorite fits in this category. Some contain intact material from the circumstellar disk during the planetesimal building process. These are the ones that never went through a melt and rehardening process, like all the rocks on the Earth and the Moon. The meteorite Alande fits into this category. We'll start with Canyon Diablo, the meteorite that was responsible for Meteor Crater in Arizona. It is estimated to have fallen to Earth around 50,000 years ago. Fragments of the meteorite have been actively collected since the mid-1800s. The largest fragment is the Hollinger meteorite, with a mass of 639 kilograms, or 1,400 pounds. This iron meteorite contains troilite, an iron sulfide mineral that has almost no uranium. Since the mineral contains no uranium, all the lead present in the troilite is the lead originally present when the meteorite formed. This includes the radiogenic isotope lead 206 and 207 that decayed from uranium before the meteorite formed, as well as the natural, non radiogenic lead 204. Thus, using mass spectrometry as always, this Canyon Diablo troilite gives us the primordial ratios for lead 206 over 204 and 207 over 204. In fact, these two numbers are generally used as the standard for our solar system's original lead concentrations. In 1969, Allende created a fireball over the northern Mexico sky. As the meteorite burst, numerous fragments rained down around the small village of Pueblito de Allende. Over 2,000 kilos of debris have been found, and new pieces are still being discovered every now and then. It's a type of meteorite called carbonaceous chondrite. That's a stony meteorite with lots of carbon and containing small mineral granules called chondrules. A lot of meteorites have experienced significant heat that melted and reorganized their minerals, but Ayande was not one of them. Its pieces remained as they were when they formed. Here's a slice of it. We're particularly interested in the little pale whitish-gray bits called calcium aluminum inclusions, CAIs for short. These are thought to be the very first solids condensed in the circumstellar disk. Dating these would give us the starting date for the solar system. Other interesting pieces of the meteorite are these round, darker gray bits. These were the first liquid droplets to condense out of the disk gas. They are also some of the oldest minerals that formed in the solar system, but not as old as CAIs. We are interested in two findings associated with Ayande. One is the ratio of uranium-238 to uranium-235 isotopes. In the Ande, it was around 137.88 uranium-238s for each uranium-235. This ratio has held up across Earth, Moon, and meteorite rocks. The other is the ratio of radiogenic lead-207 and 206 to non-radiogenic lead 204. A large number of these ratios were determined from the various CAIs and chondrules, but we'll use just one. With lead 207 over 204 at 22.76 and 206 over 204 at 